The gracilis is a thin muscle that, con that covers the entire medial compartment. These are cut so that you can reflect them back and then look at the deep muscles of the anterior and medial compartments. And okay. so what's in the anterior compartment are the rectus femoris and the vastus lateralis and medialis. And they're fine. So this, if I push this back a little bit and then push that back there, can you see the rectus? That's the rectus femoris. And then what's lateral here is vastus lateralis. And what's medial is vastus medialis. And you can see what happens when students use their probes to try to you know, kind of find things, they start shredding the muscle. And then, you know, that's why that's looking like that. Because uh, over time, you know, if it's look, you know, if it's all paced together like this and, and you know there's three muscles, sometimes students will use the probe, you know, to, to try to, and because they don't absolutely know where the edge is. And so over time, you know, they'll start fraying the muscle like that. And so I've, that's why I only dissect one side of the animal. So if I need to, I can just re-dissect this animal. But just try to be a little careful because use your, your, these work really well too. You don't need this metal thing. I can just as easily do that, right? In fact, probably more efficiently to, to expose the rectus than trying to use this metal probe. Okay. And then this will be very difficult for me to pin, but Right, this is the an anterior thigh. This is the iliopsoas that's coming down and then inserting onto the lesser trochanter, okay? So those are the muscles on the medial side. I mean, so anterior side. Then the muscles on the medial side are your adductor muscles. And you might remember that you had pectineus, adductor longus. On, and on a human, it's adductor magnus. On the cat, it's adductor femoris, okay? And in addition, you could still see the semitendinosus and the membranosus. So this is the semimembranosus and this is the tendinosus. And then the remaining muscles are all the adductors. The pectineus is this tiny little muscle right up in, right up by where the artery and vein come through the, through the pelvis. And then this is the adductor longus, and then this is the adductor femoris, okay? Pectineus, longus, femoris, all right? Okay, so that's the anterior thigh. Now we can look at the, and so if, if I put my hand like this, right, thumb in, you'd be looking where your bicep would be, and then these would be your flexors. Now on the cat, there's a thin muscle that overlays this medial side. It's called the epitrochlearis, and that's cut so that I can full reflect it back. Now, this region right down here is actually one of the triceps. That's the long head. We actually see that from the other side. And then this is the biceps, brachy. Okay, so, the, so on the medial side, epitrochlearis, and the biceps. We'll see the long head of the tricep when we flip the cat over. Okay, now, let me just paste that back together. Now in the forearm, again, when you put your arm like this, you're gonna see muscles that are on both sides. And so when you're naming the muscles, um, when the cat's in this orientation, the first muscle you'll see, this really thin muscle, is the brachioradialis. The next muscle that you see, there's the brachioradialis, lying next to it is actually an extensor muscle from the other side. That's the, the extensor carpi radialis. Then the rest of these muscles are truly on this side. The first one is the pronator's teri, and then these are the, the uh, long and short, but we'll just just refer to these as the flexor carpi radialis. And then this thin sheet of muscle, that's the palmaris longus. 
and then lateral to that is the flexor carpi ulnaris. So on this side, you see brachial radialis, extensor carpi radialis, pronatus teri, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, and flexor carpi ulnaris, okay? And again, none of this is based on looking at it and saying clearly that's probably of these muscles, you could probably say based on appearance only, you could probably say well, that's the palmaris longus, but the rest of them, yeah, there's little idiosyncratic features, but it's easier just to know them in order than just be able to count, which is a little easier. Okay, and then I'll just flip it this way so that it's on closer to you guys. So now, now, now we'll look at the lateral side if my arm was like this, right? So these are the triceps. This, remember, we've already seen this, right? Because this is the, the clavodeltoid, and then underneath it is the chromiodeltoid. So there's three um, triceps, and the, the lateral head has a little incision in it, so you can fold it back. And so this is the long head, and then the lateral head would be normally sitting right next to it. Right? There'd be a margin right there, and that's been cut, so we can fold that back. And what's underneath it is the medial head. So that's the medial head right there underneath the lateral head. And this other muscle is the brachialis. So this is the brachialis right above the medial head. So on the lateral side, you have three heads, long, lateral, and medial heads of the tricep and the brachialis. And then in the forearm, so we have the brachioradialis, and then next to that, is the flexor, uh, excuse me, extensor carpi radialis. Then you have two muscles that move the digits. The first one is extensor digitorum communis, and then next to that is extensor digitorum lateralis, and then the last muscle that's on the most lateral is extensor carpi ulnaris. So ulnaris, flexor digitorum lateralis, flexor digitorum communis, and then you have flexor carpi, excuse me, extensor carpi radialis and brachioradialis. Okay? All right. Then, so now we need to look at, to look at the, the leg. Right? So the, this is, would be your foot, right? This would be the calcaneus. This would be sitting on the ground. This would be the anterior side of your leg. And so if you're looking at the anterior side of your leg, the sequence is tibia, tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum, then fibularis, right? Because the side, this is where the fibula is. So that's the tibia right there. So that's tibialis anterior. And then right next to the tibialis anterior, this is a little, is the extensor digitorum. And then next to that is the fibularis, which is right in there. So, so tibialis anterior, then flexor digitorum, then, then uh, the fibularis. Now, this is, this is the biceps uh, femoris. Just kind of fold that back so you can see the gastrocnemius. So the gastrocnemius sits over, so there's the gastrocnemius, and just like for you, right under your gastrocnemius is the soleus, okay? So when the, when the cat's looking away from you, because if it was in this orientation, it's gastrocnemius, and underneath it is the soleus. When we rotate the cat, so you're looking more on the medial side, here's the gastrocnemius, and what's underneath the gastrocnemius is the plantaris. So when the cat's looking at you, it's plantaris, okay? And so here... So you've got the, that's the tibia right there, tibialis anterior, and then next to that is flexor digitorum, okay? So that's your cat dissection. Any questions?